Okay, now we are going to flip that uh, body upside down and here is the assembly of the front end, not, not a big deal. All you do is put it on here and uh, put the nylon nut on there and adjust it so the front end fork pivots freely back and forth. Okay, this has to pivot freely so don't over tighten it otherwise you ruin your servo. And then you attach the steering uh, rod to the fork which has a little hole on the side here which is very self-explainable. You shouldn't have any problems doing that. Okay. So cut it. Action. Okay, the front end is installed, the clevis is attached for the steering and this is what it looks like without the reaxle. Now we're going to turn to the reaxle. Okay. You may want to cut it. Okay. Now the next step is to attach the rear axle to the body. So we put the body upside down and you notice that little screw on the rear axle attaches right here and you need a Phillips screwdriver in order to attach it. Phillips screwdriver is not part of it. I assume that everybody has a Phillips screwdriver in his house. And if you don't have one, get one. <laughs> Here we go. Here's our model, that one track. Okay. So the next step is to attach the sail to the body, and you'll see there are several holes. Those three holes up here are vent holes. That's not where it goes. It goes into the one in the back, and is the mast is in a slight angle to the back. In other words, it's not straight up. And you see the forestay, and the forestay attaches to that little gadget up front here. This is a attachment here, and it's just a matter of hooking it. Okay, now, okay, that's why I told you to not do this on top because we, we can adjust it now. We need to raise it up a little bit. Okay, I think this is good. The idea is to put the mat, the boom so it's parallel to the body. Okay, and uh, I often say, okay, if the forestay is pre-adjusted, but if it is happens to be too long, all you have to do is put one knot in there. One knot makes a big difference in the length. You'll find out. See that? Parallel to, pretty much parallel to the body and uh, as low as possible down because you want to eliminate the gap in between the boom and the body. Because the airplane doesn't have a gap there, neither do the per birds. So pretty much we are done with that. That's the whole assembly of the uh, BAT-1, Modern Land Yards BAT-1.